the Merino Rams, you can see some of the boys looking out the shed over there. What we're receiving at the moment is very disappointing and it's been very disappointing for quite some years now. So it's little wonder that uh, a lot of growers have reduced their numbers of uh, super fine sheep and are looking at alternative ent ent enterprises just to, uh, to pay those few extra bills. What they've got to understand is uh, what our costs are in producing uh, such a magnificent product and we can do it so well. We really can grow the best wool in the world uh, around this region and uh, uh, we want to continue growing super fine wool because uh, it suits our country, number one. And uh, we believe the product is just, just magnificent what we can produce. Uh, so why not uh, push the areas, uh, push the promotion uh, and projects like uh, Xenia are undertaking here to try and uh, lift where the market is at the moment. Baby, I know that you got stubborn. This is all about creating more money for wool growers. You know, farmers care about two things, rain and their wool checks. Um, first one I can't help them with, but the second one is, uh, is, is, is why we do these types of projects. And this is a marketing exercise, there's no doubt about this. We want these journalists to go back to the Northern Hemisphere and spruik um, uh, the, 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 the farm to fashion elements of, of, of this product and, and, um, and create some demand. We believe in wool when, uh, uh, as, as this occasion, uh, we uh, made of this event, the 50th uh, anniversary of our trophies, the major PR event uh, of, uh, of Zenia in, uh, in 2013. Um, we are investing in this event more than what we have invested last year, uh, celebrating the 20th anniversary of China. Even though the market here is small and China is huge, we have invested as much money in this investment as we did for the centennial presentation that we did in Milan. Because we wanted to stress, and we wanted, as I will tell you in a moment, to bring the message of wool as wide as possible at the upper level to our customers, to the people uh, we are working with, and to the world right now. If nothing changes, nothing changes. And our industry is not viable at the moment. So I'd stress that this review clearly shows that we're down but not out. It also shows us just as clearly that we have a great opportunity to work together to put quality Australian super fine and ultra fine back in business and restore a flagship to the wool industry, which I think it desperately needs.